Hi everybody, thanks for checking out Shasta Trailer Project Part 5. I hope you enjoyed the introduction. I made it myself with this ukulele. I don't really know how to play the ukulele, but my wife bought this from Amazon a couple of weeks ago, and it's been floating around the house, so I thought, why not compose a little number and include it on this video? It's interesting, this instrument has become a little bit of a motivator for me to finish the trailer project. This is a big project. Most people who I talked to about it mentioned that if they were in my shoes, they probably would have just burned the trailer to the ground or thrown it off a cliff or in some other way disposed of it and not worried about trying to bring it back to life. And I realize it's a big project and I have dark moments where I think, why am I doing this? I could have spent just a little bit more money and got something that was serviceable. But I think about the future and my family and I traveling throughout the United States without any responsibilities or obligations, no ties to a hotel room or a certain destination, and those beautiful evenings at the campsite, sounds of nature or possibly indistinct conversations of fellow campers, and I'm sitting there strumming the ukulele and that little fantasy in my mind helps keep me going forward on this project because that's where I want to be one day. I don't mean to digress on this video I'm going to focus on transplanting the wall that I just built from the workshop to the trailer. I want to bond these two entities which are unfamiliar with each other now to form a singular bond that will last a lifetime. So let's get started. In preparation for grafting the new wall to the trailer, here's Jennifer removing a myriad of staples from this fender, and I've also attached a few cleats to the bottom of the trailer to help hold the wall in position before it's securely attached. Here we're doing some body work with a claw hammer. Jennifer's gotten all the nails out of the fender. You sure changed clothes quickly. <laughs> And we've also removed all of the residual staples from the edges of the siding so that the new wall can slip in seamlessly. So let's grit our teeth, rub our hands together, and see if we can bring this wall home. As we tilt it this way, it becomes flimsier and flimsier. Well, the wall is roughly where it needs to be. I'm glad we're going ahead and installing the wall because over the past few days, it looks like we've started to experience a little bit of sagging. How embarrassing. Yeah, it happens with time. So what I'm most concerned about right now is how the wall lines up on the bottom of the trailer because I want all of the walls to go together as seamlessly and as smoothly as possible. Specifically, on this front edge, for example, if we look at the bottom of the wall, down here where the new wall meets the frame of the trailer, there needs to be enough space here that when I install this front wall, there will be a smooth surface right here. For example, if I have the wall panel, which is this thickness, and the frame, which is this thickness, I want this to be a flat surface. It's always important to keep a tidy workstation. Next, we'll give this front side a nice little nip-tuck job. I'll go in and lift up the roof while my lovely assistant moves the wall into position. Step into my office. I keep thinking of that John Mellencamp song where it goes, the walls come tumbling down. You know that song? Uh-huh. Nice as pie. 
I'm excited to report that with this wall in position, a true distinction can now be made between inside the trailer and outside the trailer. Just like it wants to be there. I'll attach the top of the wall to these ceiling support boards with a couple of nice two inch screws. I'll tie this thing back here just temporarily with a screw because look where it hits. Ah, that's an eyesore. So at this juncture, I've attached the wall at the bottom on the top and I've also secured this siding along the outside edge just to keep everything tied together temporarily. I'm ready to start on the next steps of this project, but before I do that, I'm going to sit back, enjoy my success a little bit, and then we can embark upon the next stage in this fabulous adventure. Thanks for watching.